choice. You must believe. The only thing left for you to do now is to completely believe who Jesus is and what he did for you. This last fact points out that you need to respond in faith, both in your heart and with your lips. Romans 10, 9-10 says, Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Faith that Jesus is a provision for the forgiveness of your sins. Faith that through him you will receive the gift of eternal life. Faith that he will now help you to truly experience God's love and live out his purpose for your life. You can do this right now in three steps. Admit. Admit you are a sinner and that you cannot save yourself without God's help. Believe. Believe in who Jesus is and what he did for you on the cross. Commit. Commit your life to follow him and live according to his purpose. Here is a simple prayer you can pray right now to declare your decision to believe in Jesus and to turn your life over to Him once and for all. Does this prayer express the desire of your heart? You can pray to Jesus right now from your heart and with your lips to ask Him into your life. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and need your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins. Please forgive me of my sins. I now invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust you and follow you as Lord and Savior. Amen. Congratulations! You have now begun the great adventure of a new life in Christ. To know more about how to grow in your relationship with Jesus, you can join a life group today, a community of believers in Christ. To know more about life group, contact 251-1621.